we pick this video up where we left off in the last video at the Harrogate Motorhome and Campervan Show and we're now heading from the car park to Harrogate Caravan Park where we're staying for the next couple of days. The site's fitted a new barrier so when you drive up to it it recognises your registration number and automatically opens. We covered the site when we visited last year so we'll just give you a quick whistle stop to a look around just as a reminder. It's the reception just behind us here where you check in and go to if you need anything. Here's the facilities block with the ladies, the gents, washing up area Elsan round the corner and there's a laundry. There's also accessible facilities just there. We got pitched in the corner here which was very nice. Uh, caught the sun nicely as the day went on. It's now the Saturday morning and let's take a wander from the campsite back into the showground. On the Saturday we had a nice look around, just a casual potter, having a look at various things rather than doing a lot of filming, but we did bump into a couple of YouTubers and some of our subscribers, which was amazing. treated myself to an upgraded battery to battery charger which I'll be fitting very soon. Well look who I've bumped into at the Harrogate uh, Campervan and Motorhome show. Hiya. Hello everyone. I'm Steve, this is Eva and this is Olivia. Please come across and check out our channel. And what's your channel called? Travelling My Life. Brilliant. I'll pop a link on the screen. Do go and check the channel out. It's been fantastic to meet you guys and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. And you too. You too. So yeah, we're at the Yorkshire Motorman and Campervan Show and look who we've bumped into. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Trevor. And I'm Debbie. And we're Tyler's Travels. <laughs> Don't forget to check the channel out. I'll pop it in the description and I'll put a link to it here. Yep. Subscribe. See the traffic heading away from the shore there today. So we're now heading over to the Traveller's Rest pub, uh, which is just a five minute, ten minute walk across from Harrogate Caravan Park. And it gives Roxy a nice run too. Yes. It's nice to see the spring lambs in the field.
So here's a quick look at what we had for our dinner and it was absolutely delicious and highly recommended. There's a side gate to get through to Fodder Cafe and Farm Shop and I'm heading across there now because Rachel and I are doing the breakfast challenge. I'm going to Fodder for mine because I fancied their menu and Rachel's going to go to Sainsbury's just a little bit further up the road. So let's see what those breakfasts look and taste like. There's a bit of a daft process going on inside where if you go inside you have to actually come back outside to queue to go into the cafe. Not very customer friendly is it? Anyway, let's give it a go. We said we were coming so let's go and find out what the story is and see if the food's tasty. So that was a nice trip to the Fodder Cafe. I'd give it eight out of 10 for the food. Um, a little bit of a issue at first in that being sent back outside, which just simply didn't make any sense. Um, you know, a bit of common sense would have applied. It's not full. So I would give it for that reason, seven out of 10 up overall. The cost for the breakfast was 14 pound 10 and that was for a Yorkshire breakfast and a latte and I included a 10% tip with that. Worth noting as well the 10% off voucher I got for staying at the caravan park you could either use in the cafe or the shop but not both so you had to choose where you wanted to use it. Good morning all we've had a good night's sleep and now we're on to the breakfast challenge part two. I'm here at Sainsbury's and I'm gonna go in and try their breakfast. Come with me. Well, I've had my breakfast in Sainsbury's. It was £5.25. Um, it was really simple to order. You just go up to the till, place your order, they give you a number, and you go and select your seat. For my £5.25, I got a glass of iced water, two sausages, two rushes of bacon, a fried egg, a mushroom, a tomato, a slice of toast, and some low fat butter. The bacon was a bit underdone for me, but the rest of it was delicious. Loved it, 5.25, bargain. So there you've seen them, the two breakfast options. There was the one from Fodder, worth pointing out as well that there was a 10% discount used on that even though I gave a 10% tip. So if you didn't have a discount voucher it would have been more expensive or roughly £10 more expensive than Rachel's breakfast. And I missed up the beans on the list of my breakfast. So let us know in the comments which breakfast would you have gone for. Would it be the Sainsbury's ones? Would it be the fodder one? Or would it be the breakfast we spotted in the previous video in the show? Or would you have cooked your own? Tell us in the comments. Anyway, let's get back to it. Let's have a look at where we can go to walk the dog. As you can see, there's plenty of area to walk or run your dog. See all the way there, right the way around. Here we are just going past Harrogate Caravan Park and just having a walk down to Fodder. Lovely fields just opposite the caravan park. Fodder there in the background. So you can just see behind us there the entrance to the area with the Yorkshire Event Centre. And just up this way is Sainsbury's. So you can just wander to it if you need to grab some shopping. So Rachel, this is our second time here at Harrogate Caravan Park. 
What have you thought of our second visit? It's been really good. The site's lovely as always. The wardens are just so lovely, so friendly and really funny too. Brilliant dog walks for Roxy. Great trip to the pub and the show was really good. Enjoyed it. What about you? I couldn't agree more. It's been a lovely trip. Nice relaxing campsite. Lovely and quiet. Nice peaceful night's sleep. Everything you could want really. We've actually got some sun as well today. I know. You can't complain for March, can you? Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.